Hey guys, what's up? It's me Sharif here and I'm going to be talking to you about all the easter eggs so far when it comes to the Arrowverse and the Green Lantern. As you all know, Coast City is home to the Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and so far there has been lots of mentions and visits to the city by various Arrowverse characters. So how long do you think they will keep teasing it before we actually see a Green Lantern on one of the shows? So number one, Detective McKenna Hall, who was a love interest of Oliver's at some point during the first season of Arrow, relocated to Coast City for treatment after being shot by Helena Bertinelli, aka the Huntress, causing her temporary paralysis. This was part of the events of the 17th episode of the first season titled The Huntress Returns. Number two, Coast City also got a couple of mentions on The Flash as Barry used his speed multiple times to buy his friends and family Coast City pizza. Number three, on the Flash as well, and after the near-death encounter with Zoom, Linda Park relocated to Coast City for her protection. This was part of the events of the sixth episode of the second season of the show, titled Enter Zoom. Number four, in the flashbacks of the third season of Arrow and in the season finale, Oliver boards a ship heading to Coast City, home of Ferris Air and the Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Number 5. The name of Ferris Air has been mentioned a bunch of times on Arrow, including the many times the Ferris Air jet that Edward Fires was tasked with shooting down was mentioned during the events of the Season 1 flashbacks. Ferris Air is of course owned by Carol Ferris, who is known in the comics as Hal Jordan's love interest. Number 6. The Season 4 premiere of Arrow sees Oliver playing Hooded Vigilante in Coast City only to run into Amanda Waller and not through coincidence of course, who sends him back to the island and the worst season of flashbacks ever. So number 7. Let's talk about the worst season of flashbacks ever. Originally, rumor had it that Hal Jordan and Carol Ferris were going to be on the fourth season of Arrow. I don't really remember off the top of my head, but a couple of names were listed on IMDb to portray both characters on the show. Then the name of the actor, who was to play Hal, disappeared from the roster of actors on the show, followed not so long after by the name of the actress who was to portray Carol. So here is what I think. I think Hal Jordan was going to be an integral part of the flashbacks and probably have something to do with present day events as well. That would have made sense given the villain of the season was Damien Dark. So mystical, so magical, so Hal Jordan will be a little bit of a match if he ends up helping Oliver in a way or two. Then due to the rule that is now probably obsolete considering the appearance of Superman or Supergirl, Hal Jordan could not appear on Arrow given the planned Green Lantern Corpse movie and the fact that DC cinematic characters should not appear on TV and vice versa. The writers hence had to change the flashbacks to what we watched on season 4 and it's probably another reason why the present day events on the show weren't good either. The new flashbacks in this case had no relationship to the present. If they were to be about Hal Jordan, he would have probably shown up in the present day events and extensively. But number 8. Carly Pope portrays the role of Susan William on the fifth season of Arrow. She just made her debut on the third episode of the season. Susan or Sue Williams is also known in the comics as Sue Jordan, reporter and wife to Jim Jordan, the youngest brother of Hal Jordan. Number 9. Legends of Tomorrow just introduced the Justice Society of America and with this introduction we met its member Obsidian aka Todd Rice. Obsidian is related to two Green Lanterns. His father is the Green Lantern Alan Scott and his sister is the Green Lantern Jade. All this brings us to a very important question. If we are getting so many Green Lantern related characters, should we start considering all of these easter eggs towards one or more versions of the Green Lantern appearing in the Arrowverse? And would it really do the movie that much harm if a Green Lantern is to appear on one of the series. Personally, I think the decision to give the viewers a glimpse at one Green Lantern or the other is pretty close and it will happen sooner or later, so all we have to do is wait and find out. But that's it for now guys. If you like this video, it would be appreciated if you let me know by dropping me a like and if you want to find out when similar videos come online on my channel, it would be appreciated as well if you subscribe. But for now, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you soon.